Hey guys, Brian here with WP Cupid Blog, and today I'm going to be showing you how to start a website on WordPress step by step. The process is going to be quick and easy. In this video, I'm going to be going over four different steps to get a WordPress website started with the number one recommended hosting provider straight from WordPress.org. The hosting provider is Bluehost. Step one is how to sign up for an account with Bluehost. Step two is choosing a hosting package. Step three is registering a domain name. And then step four is installing WordPress on Bluehost. I provided a link in the description below if you want to follow along with me in the video. The cool thing about the link provided below is you'll get a discount. You'll get a free domain name with your hosting package. Some awesome features you will get with Bluehost Hosting is a one-click WordPress install, 24-7 support from Bluehost, and a 30-day money-back guarantee. You'll also receive over $150 in advertising offers from Google and Bing. Bluehost is one of the top web hosting providers and is the number one recommended hosting provider by WordPress.org. Bluehost also powers over 2 million websites worldwide. Feel free to walk through the steps with me to start your WordPress website on Bluehost. Before we get started, a little disclosure. The link is an affiliate link. I'll receive a commission which helps support this channel and helps us put out WordPress tutorial videos on a regular basis. Let's get started. First thing you want to do is head on over to Bluehost. I provided the link in the description below so that you can get your free domain name discount. You'll see the Get Started Now button on the page. Click the button. This is where you can select your hosting plan. You'll see three different options. You'll see a basic plan, plus plan, and a prime plan. I recommend going with the basic plan, and then you can always scale up whenever you'd like. If you have more than one website, then you'd want to choose either the plus plan or prime plan. I'm going to choose the basic plan for this tutorial as this is most common. Go ahead and hit the select button on whichever plan you would like to use. You are now brought to a domain page where you can choose the domain name that you want completely free. If you already have a domain name, you'd enter it in over on the right hand side. For the new domain, you can select if you want it to be a .com, .net, .org, etc. .com is the most popular domain extension, so I'd recommend going with a .com if you can. I'm going to type in a domain here and click the next button. You are now brought to a create your account page. This is where you will input your information. You'll input your first name, last name, the business name is optional, and put in your country address information. Go ahead and put a good phone number. And lastly, the best email for you as you'll get emailed a receipt of payment and a copy of your login credentials, etc. Below that, you'll see package information. You'll see account plan. This is where you can select the term for your hosting package. You have 12 months, 24 months, 36 months, and 60 months. As you can see, you'll save money the longer you purchase your hosting for. I'm going to select the 12 months package. The setup fee is free. The domain name is free. You'll see Site Backup Pro. You can unselect this as there are free backup plugins you can use for your WordPress website. Search Engine Jumpstart, you can keep unselected. This isn't necessary to have. Site Lock Security, Find, is security for your WordPress website and protects it from hackers. I'd unselect this as there are really good free alternatives. As you can see, you're saving a lot for this hosting package. Below that, you'll input your payment information. I'm not going to fill this out for protection of personal information. Once your information is put in, you want to select the I have read and agreed to Bluehost privacy policy in terms of service. Now click the submit button. You are now brought to a confirmation page. Bluehost is 
also going to, at this time, email your dashboard login information. You might need to pause the video while you wait for the email to come in. Now we need to log in to the Bluehost dashboard. You can click the link they gave you or just go to Bluehost website and up at the top you will see login. Click login, enter your account credentials, and click submit. Once you do that, you'll be in the Bluehost hosting home dashboard as you can see here. Scroll down a bit till you see website and then under that section you will see install WordPress. Click install WordPress. You should now see do it yourself free and on the right hand side you will see the install button. If for some reason any of these uh, pages looks a little bit different, Bluehost does change their pages from time to time, but it should be the same general steps. So go ahead and click install. Once you do that, you will see a select which domain you would like to install to. So select the domain you want to use for this and where you see the directory part next to it, just leave that blank and click the check domain button. It's now going to check your domain name. This could take a few minutes, so just be patient. Once that is done, you will see the last step. You want to select Show Advanced Options. You will see where you can change the site name or title. You want to put the name of your site here. You will see Admin Username. If you need to change that, you can. Under that, you will see your password listed. Feel free to change it to a password that you would like to. Select the box that says automatically create a new database for this installation. Make sure you select I have read the terms and conditions. Click the install button now. Now you'll see a page or a pop-up saying we're setting up WordPress for you. Just be patient. You'll see a progress bar at the top showing the progress of the WordPress installation. Once it is done, it will say your install is complete. Click on the View Credentials link. It will now give you the URL of your website. The login URL for WordPress to make edits to your site along with your username and password. Go ahead and click on the Admin URL link. Put the username and password in and click the login button and you will now be in the WordPress dashboard where you can start creating your WordPress website by adding pages, blog posts, etc. Up at the top you will see your site title. Click that or hover over it to where it says view site and click on it and you can view your site as you can see here. What you see here is the Demo default theme for WordPress. If you go to the site Theme Forest, they have hundreds of premium pre-made themes for every industry. So if you don't have a lot of knowledge in design, you can easily find a cheap theme put together really well here. I provide the link in the description below. If you decide to go with a premium theme, you can email us or send us a message on Facebook and we will set up your theme like the demo content and give you all the plugins you need to have a successful site completely free. Our email is provided in the description below along with our Facebook info. And that is how to start a website on WordPress step by step. Alright guys, thanks for watching. That is how to start a website on WordPress step by step. I provide a step by step summary of this video via text in the description below. I've also provided the link to get the free domain name discount. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more WordPress video tutorials.